Today we're going to look at data handling. And data handling is just another word for looking at graphs. So we have different types of graphs that we're going to look at and how they work and how we can make a graph and how we can get information from the graph. So you'll see on the slide there's a few little pictures of different types of graphs and um, we're going to learn about some of them and graphs are very important for us to be able to get information so we can quickly look at the graph and see things about whatever we've made the graph on um, and you'll remember we did do graphs in term one so we're just going to do a little bit of revision the first thing we're going to look at is data now data is a collection of information numbers or measurements another word for data is information so basically data is when we gather everything we need, all the information to put on the graph. You may collect data by counting things, asking questions, or organizing information. You may use tally marks, tables, pictures, and bar graphs to organize your information. I hope you still remember doing tally marks from last term. So if you look on the picture, um, there is an example of tally marks. So you'll see that you count in fives with tally marks. You use four vertical lines, so from top to bottom lines, and one diagonal line for the fifth count. So we'll go one, two, three, four, and the one across is the fifth one. So it's like almost like a little bundle where we group them together to make a little bunch of five. And remember, you never write the number down. You only draw the lines and make a little group of five. And then another little group of five. And then we would just say five, ten, fifteen, and so on and so on. We get many different types of graphs. But the four that we will focus on is a pictograph, bar graph, pie graph, and a line graph. So um, we will do pictographs in details, bar graphs, pie graphs, and line graphs all in detail. But there are a few little pictures here just to introduce you, but we will do them in detail. The first graph we're going to look at is a pictogram. So this is a graph where we use a symbol or symbols, pictures, or images to represent data. So the pictograph here that we have about favorite subjects is about the favorite subjects of the class. So you will see that they've got subject, we've got maths, reading or social studies. Then you've got the number of votes and at the bottom we have a key. And a key is basically just like a clue to show us how much of everything or, or what, how we should c calculate the totals. So each little pencil is only one vote. So I don't know if you can remember when we did homework last term, we had a little um, ac activity in our homework. That had little stick men and with a little stick men each little stick man represented two people so it wasn't just one picture is one thing it was one picture for two people for who went to school on a bus or a bicycle or walked or by car or whatever the case might be so for this one we have a pencil and it's just one vote so you'll see for maths there's um, a lot then there's for reading and for social studies so by looking at the pictogram, pictogram, you can easily see which subject was the favorite one. So quickly look, which one do you think it was? Yes, maths. Maths is the favorite subject because it has the most pencils. The next type of graph we'll be looking at is a bar graph. Now a bar graph is when we use bars or columns to show information. The bars are colored because it is easier to see or read. The data can be displayed vertically, in other words, from top to bottom, or horizontally, from left to right. So you'll see here we have a horizontal example where the bar graph is going across the page. And then we also have a vertical example where the bars, bars are going from, top, or from bottom to top. Um, remember, the easy way to remember about a bar graph is that it has little bars, almost like a prison. So if you are behind bars, you are in jail. So they have spaces between them because like the bars in prison, there are spaces between. If you look at a prison cell where the prisoners are, they look through the bars. So a bar graph, remember it's got little columns and spaces between.